All right, you know what time it is. It is time for the next installment of my Planets as Character series. And if it wasn't obvious, next up is Neptune. So here is the sketch. And I'm gonna use my handy dandy light box to transfer it onto this cardstock that is perfect for markers. And then we will start to color. So first, let me start to get this transferred. Well, now we're gonna get down to business. So like I said, I am using this light box to transfer the image from the sketchbook to the expressive blending card, which I love very much so. I use it for a lot of finished marker pieces and that's usually it. I do have a lot of it, so I could probably use it for more things, but whatever. I had used this tape to stick it together just a little bit. It's very low tack, so that way it didn't shift around. But, and I also didn't film a lot of the transfer because you couldn't hardly see anything anyway. So then I go, I inked the piece as well, and I used a Micron Fine Liner in the size 01. And then I am using the initial rough sketch as kind of a thumbnail for the piece. Um, this is something I've started doing a little bit now when I don't sketch, when I don't sketch off screen, when, excuse me, when I sketch off screen, I like to then go use the rough sketch after I've transferred it over to kind of plan out my colors a little bit. So here, if you'll notice, I am really only coloring on like half of the drawing. And that was because I wanted to leave some room in case I didn't like the initial colors I chose so then I could kind of go back and I still had the other half of the dress to figure it out. I did however already know how I wanted her hair to look so that was pretty basic so I just went through I I really was excited about this one with these rich blues because I do have an image there of Neptune it is so dark blue and I was very, very excited to use this because Uranus was very light blue. And so I love, love, love the chance to use some of these dark, rich blues because I don't know why I have so many blues, but I feel like I don't actually end up using them that often. So it makes me kind of sad. But, and that was me using the paper. I covered up the other half so I could, the white blank half, so that way I could see if it all looked good together and I really liked it. So then I went on over and I started moving on to coloring on the finished piece. So when I color my skin, I always start with kind of a base color, just whatever I want like the majority of. And it was a little washed out, so I do use plenty of pinks and oranges to kind of bring some color and life back to it but I was thinking I didn't want her initially to be too warm. I do think I warm it up more so later, but I love starting with the skin. It's probably one of my favorite things to color when I color, just in general, I guess. I was trying to think if I colored the skin first digitally, and I do. It's just kind of probably one of the things I render the most, both digitally and traditionally. Um, traditionally, I kind of keep things flat for the most part because I'm more just I care more about like the concept like the idea of it than I do so much about like you know like like the context of the colors you know like is it really dark so like darken them all up is it you know she's standing in the sun I don't really do like full illustrated scenes in traditional so I don't really worry about that too much I usually do some basic shading and some basic basic texture and that is about it. And I do though go ahead and do a little bit more intricate coloring than I did in the thumbnail, like they're leaving some light spots so I could put a bit of a peaking lighter blue in there because on top of her boobies would be a lighter color than the bottom of them. And like all of the other planets, I have kept the main center of the bodice I color like the surface of the planet. Now I could have, there were more kind of stripes. You can see a little more variation in the image than I originally thought. Um, my cat is yelling at me today. Um, so I do think I will go back off camera, unfortunately, and fix that. 
because I don't want it to look too plain. But anyway, so I have some notes written down about this. So like I said, I was really excited to do all these blues and that's because so far she's probably one of the most colorful planets. The other planets are have been kind of quite plain, I guess, almost. Um, even Uranus's blue was very, very light and pale. So all the blues that were there are kind of something that I added. Um, but I really liked it. I really, so it's just exciting. I think Mars was probably the next most colorful with uh, a lot of reds and oranges. But anyway. I did take a lot of inspiration from Neptune, the Roman sea god. I hadn't done that with a lot of things, like with all of them, but I thought it would make her more interesting because otherwise the planet itself is a little boring, kind of. Like with, for example, Saturn, I didn't have to kind of play into like a godlike counterpart because Saturn had so much character between like its own stripes and the huge rings and whatnot. So, and ones like Mercury had more uh, texture to the planet itself and uh, different colors as well. So, yeah. But, and I really did kind of only use inspiration of their godly counterparts of planets that had like a really like strong association with like the names, like for example, Mars, Venus, and Neptune. Those are very common. Like, I, I don't know. I feel like for me, when I think Mars, I first think of the Roman god of war and then I think of the planet and same with Venus and Neptune so those ones I just feel like have very like strong names and culture outside of planets so anyway but her dress and everything about her I really wanted to lean into like a watery look then because I'm kind of channeling Neptune with the flowy ethereal look of it so like and because these aren't, I say that I'm drawing them as characters, I'm almost envisioning them as goddesses too. So I've had a few that are like hovering almost. And so I think her dress is very interesting like this. And I can't wait to draw them again. I will be drawing them again, not on camera. Well, maybe not camera, but in different poses. So I can't wait to see what this dress would look like in other poses. But now i have to do my usual plugs that i always have to because it's part of the business and if i don't i feel really guilty but you feel can feel free to check out my website on there is my blog it has the latest posts about the most recent one is about how i started my small business and it has in-person events so if you live in iowa specifically in the cedar valley i'm around that area and it also showcases some of my favorite art pieces. You can also find, link below, my link tree, which is a quick way to get to my website as well as, and it has all of my social medias on there. I am more active on other social medias, but honestly, not that much more, but you can see plenty of my other works and business updates and all of that good stuff. I do post a lot more on my TikTok though, I have more followers over there and it's kind of easy. It's not all art. It is honestly probably a good chunk of business, but if that interests you at all, because my business is art, if that interests you, feel free to check it out. There's also clips from my YouTube videos as well. Then there's also my Instagram where it has stills of all of my work so you can go see them closer up and you can see the details better because sometimes it's kind of hard to see in a video you know get all nice and zoomed in there whatnot and then uh you can also click to my etsy store which has all the things that i sell on there including stickers sticker sheets jewelry and at some point i'm going to be adding my new additions which are screen printed sweatshirts I'm a little nervous with those. I've only sold them at in-person events, but they have gone over really well. So I do plan on adding them to my shop in the future. Next, the exciting thing when I was like, oh, I'm going to redraw these again. I am planning on making these into stickers and potentially coloring pages at some point. But when I make them into stickers, I'm going to redraw them in a different pose and digitally because I think I can get 
really into the coloring and the details you know because you can kind of zoom in and you can fix mistakes a lot easier but it will be so exciting and really excited about this i did the same thing when i did my zodiac series so and then uh if you liked that there are those over on my channel on my i did all the zodiacs as characters as well and they are also coloring pages on my shop so when these are coloring pages they will be listed there as well but yes anyway back to the drawing as you can see it is really starting to kind of turn out you can see how the way the colors lay i've been really really enjoying that dark blue like looking at it now again i'm like gosh i just cannot get enough of it it's so beautiful and i love the gloves and the hair is just so fun but yes i did go with a trident some of them had very much so like weapons not all of them did but i thought that a trident would go well with her maybe the trident makes her a little obvious but i like it personally if I do say so myself and you know what me liking it is the most important thing the second most important thing is that you guys like it so if you do like it please like this video comment share you know what if you like the way I draw or the way I talk I've noticed I'm very talkative in this video I do have a lot to say a lot but this one definitely more so than others <laughs> but anyway if you like that please feel free to feel free to subscribe. I cannot talk this evening. Maybe it's because I'm having family over later, so I'm, I've am i been in a bit of a rush and it's been very busy. But I would, it would mean the absolute world to me if you would subscribe because YouTube is definitely one of the places that I may not post the most right now. I've been doing a lot better lately, but it's one of the places I want to post more often. So if you are interested at all in any of my other goings on with business and whatnot, I am planning on starting to do a little bit more studio vlog style videos, hopefully. I am a little nervous about that, mostly because, because this is my full-time job, um, I'm kind of... I'm kind of a bit of a gremlin at home. Like I wake up and I don't do my hair. I almost never do my makeup, just in general ever. And I'm like, I wear my clothes that have holes in them because my kitties have sharp claws and they'll poke holes. And I'm like, I'm not throwing away a perfectly good shirt. So it'll definitely be me actually having to get ready for the day because some people might feel confident. Uh, just just go and like letting the world see them as is i am not unfortunately so i will it'll be an adjustment but i think it'll be a great thing because i don't know about you but i always love the idea of being able to see kind of what people's lives look like it's interesting i find it very interesting but yeah i already share stuff similar to that on tiktok but i'll be interested it'll be interesting to do it in a long form video i I've never done that so I'm also just always a little worried about I film everything on a phone and if I'm starting to film like studio content where I'm like literally got my camera running all day I'm a little nervous about storage and I'm gonna be constantly cleaning my phone off and whatnot but you know what it'll be worth it for you guys so back to the drawing a little bit I am Adding some details and stuff with colored pencils. These are Prismacolor colored pencils. I really like them. They kind of just can add another level of texture and I like because they sit on top of the markers and not blending in. You can kind of make something stick out like her shading in the purple. I love this purple uh, pencil. It's like my favorite. I use it on almost everything. And now I am adding the final touches with a jelly roll white gel pen that is one of my absolute favorite pens sometimes i kind of go back and forth between a jelly roll or a uniball signal but i have found jelly roll to be the most trustworthy i would say um i like them a lot so i'm adding highlights to her hair i wanted it to be very shiny i'm also cleaning up edges where i'm kind of a mess 
when I color, so cleaning up those and highlighting the little pearls I have in her hair. And there's this little water detail on her hip, which I really like. I don't know where that came from, but I just, I did enjoy it. So anyway, next video will be Pluto because yes, I do count Pluto as a planet and I'm not gonna leave them out of this. I don't, it breaks my heart. So uh, she will be very much so inspired by Pluto the Roman god of the dead and wealth and riches and stuff. So that will be very interesting. It is also almost October. And by the time you see this, there'll be a fantastic chance that it is October. I do Inktober every year. Well, I say Inktober, but I just kind of use that word because it's what everybody has an association with. But I kind of do my own prompts and whatnot. So uh, I started two, three years ago, I think this will be year three, um, doing this almost, uh, I kind of call it the Monster Met Gala, where I was picking monsters, creatures, concepts, and drawing them in beautiful, intricate costumes. And uh, some of them had stories, like some of them were connected. I did like a vampire queen. Well, then I did vampire queen's consort and i did a vampire prince and a vampire princess like i kind of went with that i did like the queen of the dead and then i did like her children like it was just stuff like that so anyway i don't know if i'm going to kind of create my own prompts yet or if i'm just going to kind of wait to see as they come to me that is what i've done in the past but I hope to film some because that's very, I love that kind of content. Uh, Inktober is like my favorite time of the year, but also the most stressful. So if you have any ideas, let me know. I've done like the sun, the moon, stars. I've done vampires, werewolves, ghosts. I've kind of done a bit of everything, but anyway. So I'm erasing some of the sketch lines and she is pretty much done. I will have a couple close-ups for you to see, but besides that, she's done. So I hope you have a fantastic day and you guys stay safe and have fun and happy spooky season. Bye. Mm -hmm.